on today's episode of Moto Cheese. The following movie is rated I. Check out what I picked up today in Cheesy's Garage. It's a Maskell P20 CarPlay dash cam, and it will do CarPlay and Android Auto. With a 10.26 inch touchscreen, I'm gonna put it on the Ranger. You know, I like my technology. That's a pretty big screen there, wow. 10.26, yeah, that's pretty big. That's what she said. Suction mount, suction mount pad, 12 volt power supply. It's like the backing plate. If you decide to go that route, look like it has a stick on pad. Yes, it has a camera. 4K 1080p with FM transmitting, loop recording, map navigation, and a 64 gigabyte SD card. Aux cord to go to your radio. Rear camera, a little sticky for your rear camera. And a removal tool and some wire routing stick-ons. And the manual. Built-in speakers. I hope they're loud. The front camera. You can raise up and down. And adjust up, down, side to side. Whatever you'd like. You can also pivot the base however you'd like. Although it is a little bit limited. So that's everything in the box. So I'm thinking right there is probably a good spot. I think that'll work. And we'll mount the camera up there. What are you doing, Gatesmo? And I'll have a nice reverse cam. Even though I did a little rigging of a motorcycle mirror there, I'll be able to use my rear camera too. Bolt this down. Pretty solid. Let's see what it does. Welcome to boot. We're gonna do English. It's April 5th, 9, 32. I don't know what this is, seconds. Slide the left half of the screen up and down to adjust a preview angle. Swipe left to switch preview, swipe right to view video, slide the right half of the screen up and down to adjust the screen. Oh, brightness. Shut the hood to get a little better image here. And my LED lights are giving that a little bit of a ripple. I guess this has to go this way. So it'll end up looking like that. Not bad. Okay, so it says it comes with an SD card, so let's see if we can format the SD card. Now let's see. Alright, 58 gigs. There, now it's recording. So you must format the SD card before it will record. It is showing the date and time properly. I guess I did set it up right. Let's neaten up these wires and get that rear camera hooked up. So I mounted the rear camera right there. If I mounted it up higher, I would not be able to see inside the bed. It would block the view. Ran the wires all underneath. do both. You have your front, which does not go up and down, but those mean that there's something up there. Those lines, that's the avoidance. And your back, of course, you can 
move that up and down. You can turn your mic off if you want to mute your videos. And you can download the videos to your phone. Or you can pop the SD card out. You can put it anywhere. Got a real fast boot up time too. Let's hook up some Android Auto for software for your phone. Scan this QR code, install the app, and then connect to the unit. Power up your dash cam and you'll get the notice to connect the DVR after it's been scanning. Click connect. Select the unit. Enter the password. Wi-Fi password is 88. You can do always connect. Now we will click connect. Looks like that's the front camera. And you push this little camera icon with the reversing loop on it to check your rear camera. It shows it's recording because the red light is flashing. Stop recording. So we can get into the settings. There's a name, password, 120 second cycle time, G sensor is off, screen savers are off, English language, audio recording is on. You can format here and factory reset here. You can pull your videos from here. Front and rear videos. It has not populated the little thumbnails yet. I imagine it will. Let's see. That's loop, emergency, there were none. Park monitoring, there is none. So that's about it for the app. We'll pair that up and let's see if it's going to connect. Yes, it is connected. So when you're in Android Auto, since there's no buttons on the outside of this, they give you a little button here. It's a floating button. You can put it wherever you want. You hit that. You have your brightness, your volume, home, your video, your playback, and your options. And it's just like regular Android Auto. You have all your stuff here. You could do a search. What's the population of Crystal River? In 2022, the population of Crystal River was 3,485. Shared a reel. Do you want to reply? No. Okay then. So that's it. So now you can play your favorite tunes while you're in your machine, car, ATV, whatever. Let's configure the FM transmitter and have it run to the radio. So we're going to do this. FM audio. This always starts at 87.5. So let's tune this in to 87.5. Now let's go back. Go to Android Auto. Well, let's see how she works and the video it takes.
screen is pretty bright. Hard to tell. But I can see it while I'm driving the machine. I'm curious to see how the video turns out. I was doing like 35, 40. These machines have a lot of vibration. So I expected it to look a little jittery. But the image quality recording seems pretty good. It does have a special codec that will play with a VLC player, but it would not convert it for my editing program. So I did splice in the sound while we were driving. In a car, it'd probably do pretty good. Definitely a nice feature to have if you don't have the Android Auto or any kind of car play in a car that you have and you want to put this on your dashboard. So it seems to work pretty decent. If you guys are interested, I'll have the links down below and any discounts that they give me. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products to use are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.